Hello everyone, my name is Lily and I'm from Vietnam and today I will share with you some culture shocks that I experienced when I newly came to Malaysia for work. Actually, uh, Vietnam and Malaysia is in Asian's country, not much different. But still, some things that I feel um, like shocks with the culture here. So now let's discover with me. Okay, so uh, this video is not intentionally to offend anyone, any countries. Uh, it's just like my personal experience here. Uh, so yeah, just feel free to enjoy my video. And in case it's help you in the future when you move to Malaysia for work or like you move to another country. So hope this video will prepare you or like entertain you. The very very first thing I will talk about first is like how I struggle with life here. It means the um, like difficulties of me in here. So the very first thing is food. Like um, this is as I told you in the previous video that this is multicultural uh, country have different um, like ethnic group or so there will be a lot kind of people so there are a lot of kind of foods too when I finish my quarantine I moved to um, an area uh, and it is surrounded mostly by Indians. And in here, for me as first, I cannot like taste the Indian food well because you know I'm new here, new flavor to me. So I feel it like hard for me to um, like a uh, chill with that food. Uh, but now I moved to Kondo, uh, so um, I can cook because I have a kitchen. So it is easier for me to cook anything I like adapt to my um, my taste yeah but you know there's still a lot of like yummy food don't worry you will discover I will try to like discover and share to you some yummy food according to my taste yeah so let's see okay so in the previous video I promised you that I will uh, try the best and then I will give you my insights so um, I did try it uh, the free bus uh, near my condo, uh, the red line one, and um, you know the difference in the bus here and the bus in Vietnam is like uh, you have to wave them. Uh, in Vietnam, we don't have to like uh, wave because uh, every bus stop the bus have to stop. But in here, when you want to uh, jump in that bus you have to wave them to see uh, the signal that you want to jump in and to go to that bus and I missed one time I missed the bus due to I don't know I didn't wave and it just uh, I just see it's cross by yeah third thing is language barrier um, I must say that um, there will be different people with different uh, level of English. Uh, people here, there are some people that they cannot speak English. So that's why you have to like use body language or uh, prepare some kind of um, translation app. And so in, in case that people don't understand the other things about language is that they speak uh, like the language uh, that in some words that in um, it's hard for you uh, to understand like uh, even in, in Vietnam uh, some foreigner uh, said that Vietnamese English sometimes hard to understand so same for me when I came here uh, I encountered some like uh, different even when we interact by English but there's still some word that we feel hard to listen to so yeah it's also uh, something you can notice and the other thing is like uh, to some people they learn English since they uh, were a child uh, and uh, they speak um, they learn it with their local language their mother tongue language so they speak it very fast and fluently and even uh, so uh, it sometimes it's hard for me to listen to because I speak not that kind of like fluently at them 
so sometimes it's hard for me to uh, follow up with them too, to be honest. Yeah, uh, those are the things that I feel struggle here. But now there will be something that I feel like excited about. Uh, first of all, it's just like about when you need to cross the road. Uh, in here, when you need want to cross the road, just press the button in the traffic light below the traffic light and wait for a few seconds. And when the green line for pedestrian turn on, you can cross the road. And in Vietnam, uh, my uh, some foreigner shared to me that like uh, the traffic uh, just go. Uh, so fast and they cannot find a chance to cross the road uh, like even me as a local Vietnamese I also sometimes feel hard to cross the road too uh, but yeah in here you will have their um, press the button for you to ask for crossing the road and the other thing I want to share is like the driver up in here are really really nice uh, when I want to cross the road near my condo, there is no um, uh, traffic light for me to press but um, uh, when the driver see my intention that when I step in the uh, side of the road and they see that I want to cross the road and they just stop uh, the car for me to cross and uh, a lot of the other car follow them to stop for me to cross the road and I, I feel so grateful. Second thing is about condo and apartment. Um, I had a chance to live in uh, apartment in Vietnam also and in Malaysia also and I can see like in Vietnam we don't have pool, swimming pool, uh, gym, sauna in uh, condo but in here, uh, Malaysians have swimming pool, uh, sauna, gym, and also like um, kind of um, the um, I would say it's kind of garden around for you to sit there, uh, sightseeing, and just chill. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting that I never met in Vietnam. And the other thing is about the floor. In Vietnam, it will be the first floor, but in here it will be the fourth floor uh, because the other down floor is for um, us like to park the car. Yeah, so uh, here is start from the fourth floor. The other thing is here there are a lot of malls and shopping center, so it's very convenient for you when you want to buy some things. Uh, a lot of brands, so uh, you can buy whatever you want, very convenient. And uh, the last thing is um, natural friendly, I must say. Uh, I met a lot of trace card in the road and uh, the bird also when I come closer is not like kind of scare of me, uh, scary of me. And um, also I heard my friend said that uh, when you go to the forest, even the monkeys just play around you and this is really interesting and uh, I want to experience this after MCO. <laughs> and also here, even in the capital city, uh, you will still see some forest, um, rivers and also park, a lot of parks. So it's kind of interesting for me because uh, like my, some of my friends, they just go to the park uh, or go trekking in their weekend and this is really interesting and I want to experience too I plan to but due to the MCO I cannot go anywhere so hopefully this COVID will um, go away soon so far as to be come back to normal life so so far uh, these are my experience uh, about uh, how I feel kind of shocks when it comes to Malaysia and yeah actually a lot of people asking me like uh, do you have to um, move from Vietnam uh, to Malaysia during this pandemic it will be dangerous because there are a lot of cases in Malaysia but uh, like you know for me um, you never know what new thing lead you to uh, I um, 
actually I uh, I experienced some difficulties but a lot of things I can discover I can learn from uh, from work and from life uh, from people from like geographic and from culture from ethnic group and also from uh, like their belief uh, their religions uh, and um, it's a really good lessons for me and um, I must say, if I have a chance to, to choose again, I will definitely still want to choose to come to Malaysia. Uh, yeah, I hope my sharing is uh, useful for you when you consider uh, to work in Malaysia or something else. Yes, I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you. Hope to see you again.